Is it a good time to buy? Is it a good time to sell? Do you feel like when realtors tell you it's still a good time to sell and it's a good time to buy that somehow you're being bamboozled? This, those statements are correct, but you need context around why they're saying it. So is the market softening in Las Vegas? It is, and softening means that we're not seeing this rapid home price appreciation. Will we see home price appreciation on these properties in 2022? We will, but what you have to think about is how much of that appreciation is attributable to the first two quarters of the year and then the second two quarters of the year. The shift came, I felt it in May, like dramatically so in May. Nationally, what the news is saying isn't too relevant to you when you are in your local market trying to buy and sell real estate because the national news, there's a massive lag time between what's actually going on and the data being reported. So you want to know locally what's happening in your area or any other areas you're looking to buy or sell in. So why is it a good time to sell? It is a good time to sell for certain people. Those people that have been in their homes for quite a while that have a lot of equity and appreciation, that's still a good time to sell because are we at the quote unquote bottom? I don't know. I think we're gonna trend down a little bit for the next couple of months, but I don't have a crystal ball, so you can't base that on anything. Is it a good time to buy? Yes. My husband and I are looking at rental properties. I had three calls this week with other clients who are like, I'm ready to go buy a rental property now. I see that things are softening. I see that I can get a fair deal. I'm not looking for the best deal ever. And this is what cracks me up. In a seller's market where buyers have to almost give up their firstborn child to get a property, they're clamoring to do it. In a buyer's market where you have a choice, you have some time, they all step to the side like it's a middle school dance and get afraid to buy. So I attribute seller's market buyer's behavior to FOMO, fear of missing out, everybody else wants something, I want it too, I'll do all the crazy things, right? And even for my listings, I just kept saying, these are crazy offers that are coming in. Then you get to a buyer's market where the buyers have options and they get afraid to make a decision. So if you're a buyer and you wanna stay in a house for five to seven years, this is normal, five to seven years, you are in a good place. What about interest rates, Alexis? What if interest rates go down? You can refinance. Well, I wanna wait for the prices to go down. Do you? What if interest rates go up? You're not saving yourself here. You just need to do a little bit of math and a realtor can do it for you or a lender can do it for you. So the easiest way to know when you're at the bottom of a market and the way that the vast majority of people figure it out is when it's too late. So just don't be one of those people. If you're interested in buying a house for a whole host of reasons, explore that. And if you want to sell because you need to or you're relocating, you can sell. But your house has to be perfect. It has to be perfect. Nobody wants to paint it, re-carpet, do any work, and you need an agent who knows how to price in a shift. And I'm starting to realize they're few and far between. If you have any questions, reach out. I hope everybody's having a great week.